let's make a holder for this 7 inch speed square. The primary material for this is 1 inch aluminum square tube with 1 16th inch thick walls. Aluminum is pretty soft and can generally be cut with the same tools used to cut wood. I cut this piece 7 inches long. I clamped the piece to a larger piece of wood that I clamped into my vise. This did two things. It raised up the piece of aluminum from the vise so that the edge guide of the router could follow the aluminum. It also provided a larger flat surface for the base of the router to rest on. Here, I'm using a solid carbide, one quarter inch spiral down cut bit to cut the slot in the aluminum. I stopped the cut about one quarter inch from the end of the tube. Next, I cut a piece of wood the same length as the tube, 7 inches. Then I ripped it so that it was 7 eighths inches wide and 5 eighths inches tall. This filled the width of the tube exactly and left a slot about a quarter inch wide for the base of the square to slide into. I cut off the top corner of the holder and then used files to shape it. I wanted to taper both the top and the entry into the slot to make it easier to guide the speed square into the holder. I used some five minute epoxy to glue the wood inside the block. I left it clamped until the epoxy cured. The last step was to mark and drill holes to attach the belt clip. I bought a pre-made belt clip, which can be attached with two screws. Here it is. The whole thing's actually pretty lightweight, and the square slides in pretty well. I made two versions, one with the clip on the back side for clipping to a pouch or bag, and one with the clip on the side for clipping to an apron or directly to a belt. Thanks for watching.